I'd like to take a minute just to introduce you to our first speaker, Louise Bruton. Uh, Louise is a freelance journalist, and when she isn't writing about pop music, she's writing about and promoting disability rights and access on her blog, Legless in Dublin. Thanks so much, Louise. Hello, this is daunting. Anyway, today I am marching for, for as I'm an Irish woman, but I also I am marching today because I want to know that I am in safe hands if ever I get pregnant. As a disabled woman, I've spent my life following medical guidelines to make sure that I don't fall apart. My doctors have been nothing but supportive and providing alternative treatments if I'm not okay with something, giving me the ultimate choice in everything that happens to me. If I get pregnant, these choices are gone. I have a lot of metal in my back, metal that tends to have a mind of its own, so if I get pregnant, it's potentially quite dangerous for me. My spine is not strong, my weeks are hip, or my, my hips are weak, yeah, that, that's one. I'm also hip, fuck it. <laughs> but I am afraid of getting pregnant because I'm afraid of what my body can and can't handle. And I've unfortunately seen what I can't handle more times than I can count in my life. Like most women in their 20s, I am very careful when it comes to the all, you know. But if there is a slip up, I am goosed. Everything I've been working on to keep my back in one piece will be put at risk. I'm not saying that I do not want a family, I'm saying that I cannot be pregnant. And that's a choice that I should be able to make. When you live with disability, you have, a number, you have to make a number of choices on a daily basis that will maintain your strength, your health and your energy levels. Depending on what kind of disability you have, you have to decide what your own limitations are measuring day in, day out, what works for you and what works for your body. You get to learn what your body is capable of when you have a disability. But having a physical disability isn't just using a lift instead of a set of stairs. It isn't having your own private bathroom and all you idiots have to queue. When you are physically disabled, you have to make very specific choices your entire life. So if I become pregnant, pregnant I want to know that the medical support I've had for all my life um, wasn't for nothing. My body is my body and I don't want that to change just because I've moved from the orthopaedic ward down to the maternity ward. <laughs> I'm marching today because like every other woman in Ireland I don't want my, ch my choices taken out of my hands because someone else said so.